Since we've already done an updated stasis build for the Warlock, I wanted to give you guys one for the Titan as well, which is going to give us a lot of stasis crystals, and that's going to lead into giving us overshield and very fast ability cooldown on top of damage resistance for this build. Now, the exotic we'll be using is the Z. This came with Witch Queen. It's perk, Glacial Fortification. Using a stasis subclass, your barricade becomes a wall of stasis crystals that slows nearby targets when created. Standing behind this barricade will grant you and your allies increased weapon reload speed, stability, and range. Now, let's go over what I'm using inside of the stasis subclass again. This is Behemoth on the Titan Superwise. We only have the one super, so it doesn't matter. Uh, Barricade-wise, it doesn't matter because it's turning into that wall of ice. So again, I don't think it matters. I'm just walking rally barricade because it technically does have a faster cooldown But again, it's not gonna matter anyway moving ability wise do what you want the melee We only have the one melee which is the shiver strike, but this will be important aspect wise So next up grenade wise we're rocking the glacial glacial grenade. I can't talk this my bad <laughs> Grenade that creates a wall of stasis crystals to block damage and freeze targets These walls can be shattered for damage. So when you shoot them, they do a little kind of explosion so aspect wise we're rocking tectonic harvest shattering a stasis crystal creates a stasis shard and the shard grants melee energy when you pick it up uh, by you or your allies which is nice then we have how the storm again this is where the melee comes in while sliding activate your charge melee ability to launch a wave of stasis energy forward that freezes targets and creates stasis crystals just like with the glacial grenade so again that's more stasis crystals we're getting here on top of the you know <laughs> your class ability which is now a wall of crystals from the exotic so you're kind of seeing where this is going right fragment wise going with whisper of shards shattering a stasis crystal temporarily boosts your grenade recharge rate then shattering additional stasis crystals increases the duration of this benefit and you get a plus 10 to resilience which is fantastic next is whisper of rending primary ammo weapons do increase damage to stasis crystals and frozen targets so again you do more damage to those things which allows you to break them faster which gives you the elemental shards faster Next, Whisper of Conduction. Nearby stasis crystals track to your position, gives you a plus 10 to resilience and intellect. So we're pretty much getting plus 20 resilience here right off the bat, which is so nice. But again, if you're not going to be near the crystal and you want it to just come to you, again, it'll automatically come to you, which is very nice. Now, again, for this last one, we have a couple different options. But first, I'm going with Whisper of Rhyme. Collecting a stasis shard grants a small amount of overshield, which falls off after 10 seconds. 10 seconds and collecting additional shards adds to the overshield and refreshes the timer. So pretty much the more uh, stasis shards that you create from breaking any of these stasis crystals, those will track to you. That'll give you an overshield that last 10 seconds. And the more that you make and the more that you collect, uh, just continues to refresh, which is very, very nice. Now, if you didn't want to do Whisper of Rhyme, no problem at all. I would highly recommend looking into Whisper of Fissures. Increases the damage and size of the burst of stasis when you destroy a stasis crystal or defeat a frozen target. So that explosion is a lot bigger than it was. So honestly, between these two, if you're doing low tier activities, I would do Whisper of Fissures. But if you're doing, you know, mid to high end, I would look into using Whisper of Rhyme because that overshield does come in clutch. Next, let's go over the armor mods that I'm using. Now, for the most part, the elemental well mods that will be using can be put on any armor piece honestly as long as it matches that elemental type so you do have to keep that in mind so first up on the helmet we have elemental shards again stasis shards count as stasis elemental wells for you so all those stasis shards that you're making from the subclass count as stasis elemental wells which are really nice then i'm also rocking harmonic siphon rapid weapon final blows with damage matching your subclass type creating orb of power and again if you want to change this out for kinetic siphon or even stasis siphon you could do that as well on the gauntlets, I am rocking Reaping Wellmaker. After activating your class ability, your next weapon final blow on a combatant spawns a Void Elemental Well. And then I'm also rocking Double Bolstering Detonation. Grants class ability energy when you cause damage with a grenade. On the Horfrost Z Exotic chest piece, we are rocking Elemental Time Dilation. Elemental Well mods that grant you time little bit of benefits can now stack, increasing the duration of the effect for each copy of the mod you have equipped. On the boots here, I have Well of Tenacity. Picking up Void Elemental Well reduces the damage you take from combatants for a short period of time. Now, I'm rocking Elemental Well because we're going to get that damage resistance. And the reason I didn't rock... Oh, uh, where is it at? Right here. Whisper of Chains. Again, while you're near frozen targets or friendly stasis crystal, you take reduced damage from targets. We're already going to be getting that reduced damage from Well of Tenacity. So again, you do not have to use Whisper of Chains here. And lastly, on the class item here, we have Well of Restoration. Picking up a stasis elemental well grants you additional energy for your ability that has the lowest energy in the multiple copies of the mod. Increase the effect. And then we're rocking Double Utility Kickstart. When your class ability energy is fully expended, you gain class ability energy. Now, honestly, there aren't really a lot of mod substitutes, but 
If you did want to focus on solar armor instead of void armor, you could look into using Explosive Wellmaker. Again, rapidly defeating combatants with explosive damage spawns a solar elemental well, which again, if you blow up that stasis crystal near targets, it counts as explosive damage, so you gotta keep that in mind. So again, that would spawn a solar elemental well, which you could use with Well of Life. Again, that'll give you that increased health regeneration over time. You pick up a solar elemental well. Bounce of a well is you get double the amount of wells when they spawn. Well of Ordnance, when you pick up solar elemental well, gives you grenade energy. And you can still pair that with something like elemental shards, well of restoration, or elemental time dilation, like we mentioned. But also, if you want to go that route, again, since you're not going to have the damage resistance from Well of Tenacity, that's when you could use something like Whisper of Chains. Again, when you're near the frozen target or a friendly stasis crystal, you take reduced damage from targets, which is 40% damage resistance. So you could do that, but the problem is, is that it's not as consistent with the explosions on adds versus you just using your class ability and then getting a kill with a weapon to get that Void Elemental Well to spawn. So I think it's a lot easier than the Solar Route, but again, either would be viable, but I'm just talking about the one that honestly performed the best here. Now, stats to focus on, obviously, we want to do resilience here for two reasons. Number one, if you have max out resilience, tier 10, you get a 40% damage reduction in PvE activities, which is absolutely disgusting. But also, the resilience stat is also tied to the Titan class ability stat, which, again, is the barricade, which, again, is the main perk here on the Horfrost Z, which is going to give us that wall of stasis crystals even more. Now, the second one I would highly recommend focusing on is discipline. Again, having that grenade... Uh, a lot faster. I try to max that out. I would say you could try to max out melee as well so you could take advantage of how the Storm. But the really good thing is when you're breaking all these stasis crystals from your class ability, from the Glacial Grenade, from how the Storm, is that Tectonic Harvest automatically gives you melee energy. And Well of Restoration is going to help out as well, especially if your melee is your lowest uh, on the ability regen. It's going to give you even more to the melee. So honestly, I would just focus on resilience and discipline so you have really good resistance, really fast cooldown for that barricade, and a really fast cooldown for that grenade. Now, weapon options. Aside from, you know, stasis weapons or weapons that you're trying to pair with harmonic siphon or whatever the siphon that you're using on the helmet to create, you know, orbs, if you wanted to take that route, I would highly recommend looking into a weapon that comes with the perk headstone. If you don't know what that is, Precision Final Blow spawn a stasis crystal at the victim's location. Again, this is on stasis weapons. So if you get the headshot, that's a stasis crystal right there. You break the crystal, that creates that shard. So again, that's even more crystals around the map. So if you did want to look into weapons that have headstone, I'd recommend it, but it's not absolutely necessary here. If you're not catching the synergy, I'm going to explain it to you to the best of my ability. So the first thing I want to talk about is getting that damage resistance. So again, we're going to use our class ability. Again, that's going to spawn that wall of stasis shards. That's going to proc Reaping Wellmaker. We're going to get a weapon kill, allowing us to spawn that Void Elemental Well. That's going to kick in Well of Tenacity once we pick up that Void Elemental Well for that damage resistance. Now, Elemental Time Dilation is going to allow that damage resistance to last longer, which is great. Now, concerning the Stasis Crystals from either your class ability, the Glacial Grenade, or the How of the Storm Uppercut, giving you those Stasis Crystals, anytime we break one of those, that's going to create those Stasis Shards. And with Elemental Shards kicking in, anytime we pick up those Shards, again, that's going to give us a cooldown on our lowest ability, which is going to help with uh, Well of Restoration. So again, that's going to give us even faster cooldown on any ability that's the lowest. That's also going to kick in Tectonic Harvest, which is the other aspect. Again, giving us even more melee energy, which is great. Anytime we shatter one of those crystals, Whisperer Shards is going to kick in, allowing us to have our Glacial Grenade back even faster. Any primary weapon we use uh, to break the Stasis Crystal is going to do more damage to it, which is going to break it a lot faster because of Whisper of Rendering. And anytime we break a crystal and we're not near it, Whisper of Conduction is going to track it to us. And whether you're using Whisper of Rhyme for the overshield, anytime you collect uh, those uh, Stasis Shards, it's going to give you an overshield. Or if you want to use something like Whisper of Fissures, like I mentioned, anytime that you're going to break a Stasis Crystal, that's going to do even more damage around it. Anytime you freeze a target, again, they're going to have more of a quote-unquote explosion, I should say. The burst size of the Stasis Crystal or Frozen Target is going to be even bigger. So again... You're basically just spawning up a bunch of crystals, whether it's through your class ability, your melee, your grenade. You're getting uh, abilities back very, very quickly because of all the cooldowns from the elemental wells. You're getting damage resistance. Anytime you pop your rally barricade and get a kill with a weapon and collect that void elemental well. And again, you're getting all these abilities back very, very quickly considering your cooldown is maxed out with max resilience. Um, you're getting your melee back very quickly because of tectonic harvest and elemental shards. And same thing with the grenade. You uh, break a stasis crystal, your grenade regen's even faster, and 
if your grenade's the lowest one while, while restoration is kicking in. So, pretty much this is the unlimited crystal build, if you want to call it that. I know that was a lot to go through, but just know that anytime you're using any ability, you're breaking these stasis shards and using your class ability, getting kills with weapons, again, you're having constant shards, you're having constant overshield, you're having constant damage resistance with this build. But that, ladies and gentlemen, is my updated stasis titan unlimited stasis crystal build. I guess that's what we can call it. If you like what you saw, again, you can always drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and then turn that bell next to notifications so you don't miss out on another one of these build videos. If you didn't know, we stream here on YouTube three days a week, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Friday evenings. Again, we're mainly playing Destiny 2, but we're also playing a variety of other games here on the channel. And we're also doing Spire of the Watcher dungeon carry. So if you do want to carry, all you have to do is hop in the live stream, just say, hey, Dave, I need help. Like, I've ran it, I haven't ran it, whatever. We'll get you through the dungeon no problem. And if you want to be proactive, again, join my Discord. That's where we're going to be chatting. Again, that's where we're going to be at during the live streams as well. But we also have other topics in there uh, outside of Destiny 2. Yes, a lot of people are talking about Destiny 2, but again, we also have PC Tech, anime, and other topics. Lastly, if you didn't know, we hit YouTube Partner recently, which is just freaking awesome, and that gives us a lot of benefits here on the channel. One of those things being memberships. If you don't know what a membership is, essentially it is like a Twitch subscription. Again, that's going to give you access to the emotes, the monthly badges, and a variety of other stuff that is exclusive here on the channel. Again, if you'd like more info, all you have to do is press the join button next to subscribe, and then I'll give you a rundown with all the details. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Catch you in the next one. Cheers.